What is going on everybody, AMB Coinvestor here back with a brand new High Limit Coinvestor video for you all today. In today's episode we're going to be doing a $10 million investment and they gave us uh, 1,000 quarters to get started today. Pretty expensive game but luckily 1,000 quarters is quite a bit, should be enough to get this to go I would think. They got like the world's largest staircase made out of poker chips in there today. All these pinkish purple chips are all $5,000 chips. And all these chips right here in the center are $25,000 chips, all the brown ones. Check it out, they got two $1 chips hidden in there. And they also had a couple more $1 chips as well on the sides of that big old thing right there in the center. That is awesome. They got two mystery bags on the corners. Wow, that was a magnificent push right there. I can't believe we got all that to crash down that fast. That is awesome. So they got a red mystery bag on that left side, a pink mystery bag on the right. Pink one looks like it's stuck against the glass though. Pretty unfortunate, but we'll get it to go though eventually. All right, let's clear out that loot chute. It's getting real full. Wow, I cannot believe we got it to go that fast. Yeah, I definitely think they made a mistake giving us a thousand quarters. It's definitely not taking a thousand quarters to get this to go. So uh, check that out. On the white shelves today, they got uh, two more staircases made out of $10,000 chips. Looks like there's also some gold back there behind all that as well. That's pretty cool, ain't it? They got two stacks of $100 bills right here. There's 10,000 bucks in each one of them. Uh, let's see. We got the two mystery bags. Wow, it's just raining gold and $5,000 chips, $25,000 chips, quarters. Yeah, we're winning it all today. Matter of fact, there was like tons of quarters stashed inside that $25,000 chip tower in the center. I don't know, I don't really know what to call today's video. I mean, it kind of looked like, you know, like a stadium or like a racetrack or something like that. That tower in the center reminded me of like a racetrack. And there was the stadium where the people watch the race and stuff like that. Speaking of that, I've been to a race before, like back in the summer and stuff like that. I went several times. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but... Honestly, I get bored, you know, just watching something like that for two or three hours. About, you know, half an hour, maybe an hour of it is all I can handle, really. It just starts getting boring, you know. It's like I'd rather be spending my Saturday night doing something else, like multiple things, instead of just, you know, dedicating the night to only one thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe go eat at a nice restaurant, then go watch the race, and then, I don't know, go see the family and stuff like that. Just basically do three or four or five things, you know what I'm saying? Rather than dedicating the whole Saturday evening to just watching the cars go in a circle for four or five hours. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, some of y'all might disagree. Some people might like watching it for that long, but I'm just saying, me personally, I don't, don't really care much for it after a certain point. Alright, there we go. We got that loot chute cleared out. Uh, let's see. I can't wait to see how many $1 chips we got down there. I know I've seen at least four of them. Yeah, there was two on the left and the right of that tower in the center, and I thought I've seen two more hidden inside that big old tower in the center, so... Uh, anyway, let's try to push all these $5,000 chips out of here. A little bit left. We'll get them eventually. Oh, well, i tell you what. Before we do that, let's go ahead and open up the red mystery bag right here. We'll open up the pink one here in just a second. So, uh, anyway, let's check this red mystery bag out and see what they got in there. Oh, nice. So, we got another $1 chip. Heck, yeah, I'll take that. We also got four golden dice. That is absolutely outstanding, so let's set that on the table right there. Well, I'll tell you what, should we just go ahead and open up the pink mystery bag as well? Yeah, I don't see no reason why we shouldn't. Hopefully it's loaded up super, super good today. Oh my goodness, so we got uh, 
four white dice in this one, Mr. Bag right here. That's pretty good. So the white dice, those will multiply the value of the uh, casino chips and the cash that we win, and the gold dice will multiply all the gold. And we've won quite a bit of gold already, and there's still tons more gold behind all these $10,000 chips right here. So, anyway, let's see. Let's push these remaining chips out of here, and we'll be set. That was a nice push on the left corner there, wasn't it? Oh yeah, 15 grand left to win. Let's push it out of there and we'll be set. Yeah, I'll separate all that stuff that we've worn down there in the loot chute here in just a few minutes. I'm hoping they got like a green earbud, a red earbud, something like that that will get us the stuff that is on the white shelf or something. If not, then we're going to have to pay double the original buy-in, which would be $20 million. Super expensive, I tell you. You know, with four white dice, I don't know if it would be worth it. But we'll do it anyway, though, you know, just to make the video entertaining and stuff like that but anyhow I'll, I'll look through all that stuff that's down there and I'll let y'all know what I find and I'm surprised they didn't have like a $10 chip or a $50 chip inside one of them mystery bags today now it might be a short video if they don't have any special chips we'll just have to wait and see how it goes all right nice we got that uh, poker chip on the left corner there so anyhow uh, let's separate all that stuff that's down there in the loot chute, and I'll let y'all know what I find. Be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. So there ended up being a white earbud in there. I have no clue where this fell out of there from. It was more than likely from that tower right there in the center. Must have been buried underneath all those quarters and stuff. But anyway, we ended up getting four $1 chips total. So let me turn all that in real quick, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that wide earbud and those four $1 chips. They gave us 2,000 more quarters and they built us three ginormous towers made out of $25,000 chips in there. That one on the pressure kind of reminds me of like a cupcake or something like that with a candle on top of it. I don't know. That's the first thing I thought about when I seen it. And they built like two smaller slim towers on the left and the right side. So I'm hoping we can get all these towers to go pretty easily. Uh, they're making some significant progress already. And they also put a whole bunch of spare $25,000 chips just all across the play field. I guess that's just to keep you going and make you think you're gonna, you know, win a lot of money and stuff. I don't know, they do it for some reason. Maybe just for looks, uh, who knows. But uh, anyway, I forgot to mention this a second ago when I informed you all that we had won that uh, white earbud and all them $1 chips. There was no green earbud or a $5 chip or a red earbud in there today, so that means in order to get the stuff that is on the white shelves, we're going to have to pay two times the original buy-in today, which is uh, $20 million. That's what it's going to cost us to get the white shelves. And I'm honestly thinking it's going to be worth it because there's tons of $10,000 chips. There's tons of gold. Plus, we've already won four white dice. And we're about to get a whole bunch of $25,000 chips right here. So, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a huge win today. I really, really hope so anyway. So let's try to get this cupcake tower to go. It's kind of built like one of those tornado towers. See where it starts real small at the base and then as it expands it gets larger. That's kind of how those uh, tornado towers are built. And then it kind of like caves in at the top and has like a candle on top of it. Something like that. So that might be making it more difficult to push it out of there. We'll get it eventually though. I'm not a bit worried about it. Yeah, we got plenty of quarters. We're definitely not running out of quarters anytime soon. All right, let's see. Let's put a whole bunch of quarters on the left. All right, there we go. Let's try to pile up the quarters the best we can in there without getting them stuck behind the plexiglass back there. And we'll get all three of these towers to go here before too long, I'd say. 
So I hope y'all are doing well and having a wonderful day so far. Today is Monday the 14th, I'm pretty sure. I think today's the 14th anyway. So I hope y'all are having a good Monday. Usually Monday is like the worst day of the week for most people because it's like return to work after a long weekend. Well, it really feels like a short weekend. I remember when I was back in school and I would be so excited on Friday, couldn't wait to get home for the weekend and stuff like that. And then it's like, seems like two seconds later, it's Sunday night and then you have to get up the next morning and go to school. And yeah, Monday was always the worst in school because like, you just had so much work to do. And uh, seems like they, you know, wanted us to work extra hard just cause it's Monday, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why, but it seems like on Fridays they always took it easy on us. They don't give us that much work to do. But anyway, uh, pause real quick. A whole bunch of chips got stuck against the glass and that was actually helping the towers on the sides move. We got that cupcake tower to go though. That's good. There we go. Had to get that uh, payout chute cleared out. So, yeah, we've done real well on this game so far. So if this is your first time watching my channel, and uh, you've enjoyed this video right here so far and you want to see more videos like this daily. I post videos seven days a week. Sometimes we post videos on the second channel as well. That one is called High Risk Coin Pressure. Uh, be sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Turn on the bell icon. That way you're up to date for future videos. And uh, be sure you share this video with at least five or more friends or family members all you got to do is you just hit that share button and it'll take care of you the rest of the way you can just it'll give you the option like to share it to Facebook Facebook Messenger and you can send it to people on your, in your uh, contacts and stuff yeah I would appreciate it if you all share this video yeah if this video can get to like a million views or something like that I mean, technically, think about it. If we get 20,000 views in a day on this one, right? And each person hits that share button and shares it with, let's say, an average of five people. So, I mean, that would be 100,000 people that would be getting notified about this video. And then, you know, that might get us a whole bunch more subscribers and stuff. So, yeah, y'all could really help me out if you done that. I would greatly appreciate that. So anyway, let's see. Uh, we will have to pay the 20 million. I believe I've already said that twice, but let's just say it again. We'll have to pay that extra 20 million to get the white shelves today. But uh, for now, I'm just going to attempt to win this big old tower on the left-hand side right here. We might be able to get the one on the right side as well. Yeah, I'd say all these $25,000 chips that they put in here, all of them put together, potentially $10 million or more. Tower on the pressure was huge. And, uh, I mean, you're welcome to, like, pause the video and zoom in on these towers and just count up how much money you see. And if somebody does decide to do that, if you don't mind putting it down in the comments how much these towers are worth, I'd appreciate that as well. I'm sure everybody watching would appreciate that, so... They would know how much the towers are worth just to get a good estimate on how much money I'm winning as of right now. So we had a really, really bad losing game last night. I stopped by here. It seems like I always lose if I stop by here late at night. It's like they're trying to get some last minute profit from people and make the game super difficult. Uh, they had the skirt big old quarter tower in there. It was gonna be, you know, a really good video. Matter of fact, it was actually going to be today's video, but, you know, of course we didn't win, so I ain't going to post it. But uh, anyway, it was a $25 million buy-in. It was a 25 quarter challenge, so a million per quarter. And uh, let's just say I ended up buying in, I think it was like 17, 18 times, and we didn't win nothing back at all. Like it, 
nothing was even moving at all. We didn't get one quarter to move, I guarantee it. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to waste this type of money. I mean, you just do the math. 17, 18 times 25 million. That's how much we lost yesterday night. So I'm hoping we can win that back today. So we are officially down, um, I think it's around 1.9 billion for the year. We were getting, you know, close to breaking even. But, you know, it's like once we get one good game, it's always the losing game that's approaching right after. You know what I'm saying? So, unfortunately, we lost big time. But that's okay, though. We'll, uh, we'll get our get back. We'll win. Hopefully on this game right here. I mean, it won't be hundreds of millions profit, I don't reckon. Well, let's just say it won't be a billion dollar win, or potentially not even a half a billion dollar win. Because we've only won four white dots. But I don't know. I mean, it just depends what they land on. I mean, say if all of them land on six is six times four, that would be 24 times our poker chips and cash. So, I mean, you know, but the odds of all of them landing on high numbers like that are slim. Very, very slim chance of it happening. All right, let's see what that does. Come on, big money, give me something. Oh my goodness, that tower on the left side's going. Check that out. Let's see, how many quarters do we got left? Uh, that's probably about it right there for that one basket anyway. Oh my goodness, nice, look at that. We just got that whole entire tower on the left-hand side to go. All right, so let's see. Now there's a couple poker chips stuck like right here. So yeah, they'll probably rearrange those for us. But anyway, I don't think we have enough quarters to continue pushing for the one on the right. I don't want to waste any more quarters, so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and pay double the original buy-in. They'll take all the stuff that's on the white shelves to put it into the play field. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I paid two times the original buy-in. They took all that stuff that was on the white shelves. They put it all into the play field. My goodness, this is loaded up really good. They put a big old golden tower on top of that $25,000 chip tower. And they built like a huge wall of gold up front. And they took all the $10,000 chips and built it into a brand new tower back there. So, I'm really, really hoping we can get this to go and make an absolute fortune. I'll definitely try my best anyway. That's definitely loaded up really, really good. Yeah, we're about to win tons of money right here. Watch this. Oh my goodness, wow. Holy smokes, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Well, both of the stacks of cash are stuck in there. All right, we got one of them to go. Let's see if we can't get that other one out of the loot chute. Oh my goodness, All right, nice, there we go. Wow, there's so many. Uh, $10,000 chips and gold bars down in here. It's unbelievable. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a huge profit today. I can guarantee you that. So let's push all this stuff out of here and we'll be set. Uh, we'll pay that extra hundred grand here in just a few minutes. Have them put those gold bars and that 75 grand that we lost back into the play field. It'll definitely be worth it because we got those uh, dice today. By the time the white dice multiply that 75 grand, it'll be worth way more than 100 grand. All right, let's get that loose sheet cleared out. Oh my goodness, it's like an infinite waterfall of gold. This is doing amazing. Yeah, this actually might be close to a uh, 40, 50 minute episode today. Just depends on how long it takes us to win all this stuff out of here right here. But as of right now, it seems like I might actually have a longer video today than normal, which is good. Oh yeah, we're about to get this gold tower on the left. And that loot shoot is piled up again. What is stuck in there? Oh, it was a whole bunch of gold that was stuck in there. Okay. 
Alright, hold on one second. Alright, there we go. Got that gold out of there, so now it shouldn't be piling up anymore. I hope not anyway. And it's really a good problem to have, that loot chute piling up. That's how you know you're making some good progress. About to get that stack of gold on the right corner. Yep, there it goes, jackpot baby. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's been a really nice game today. And uh, something I've not pointed out yet, you see those little slots on the left and the right side? Uh, we call those the banker slots or the dealer slots. Any money that falls down in there goes to the owner and stuff like that. And sometimes we'll win a $50 chip. But when that, we'll get to turn that in. They'll take all the stuff that's falling down in there. They'll put them back into the play field along with all the stuff that other players have lost. Say if I was the first person to win a $50 chip and there was, you know, $10 million worth of stuff down there, they'd put all that into my game. So it's really about who's lucky enough to win that $50 chip first. And there's been several times we've won it. And, I mean, it's been loaded up with a lot of good and valuable prizes and stuff like that, so. And we've gotten real lucky several times. about to get like a hundred grand on that right side there it's really really close to going nice there we go we got the gold tower on the left that's what I'm talking about so anyhow the number for today's video the number for today is 111 so 111 be sure you comment that down in the comment section below that will let me know that you're still watching the video and still tuned in and whatnot. So, yeah, be sure you comment that down in the comment section. Oh, wow, that was a huge push right there. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. So anyway, let's push these uh, gold bars out of here. And uh, we'll be set. Oh wow, that was a nice one right there, wasn't it? Alright, here, let's get that loose sheet cleared out again. Alright, so let's see. Let's push on the left side only. Try to get this last little bit of gold out of here. Then we'll pay that extra $100,000, so stay tuned, everybody. And uh, let me know down in the comments section what you all thought about that uh, ginormous, like, staircase stadium thing they had in there today. That was really, really cool, wasn't it? I always like it when they got different types of towers in there rather than the same old stuff each day. Makes the game interesting, keeps the game interesting, that's what I meant. So uh, anyway, uh, let's see. I think we got it as good as we're going to get it for now. So let's go ahead and pay the extra $100,000. They will take all this stuff that is on the white shelf, so they'll put it all back into the playing field for us. So we will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I paid that extra $100,000. We called the casino staff back here. They took all that stuff that we lost to the white shelves. They stacked it all back up into the play field. They put everything on the pressure, including that 75 grand. 75 grand's in a safe spot, as long as we can win that. And I'm going to attempt to push all this like straight forward. We don't want anything falling down in the banker slots, because like I said, we lose it. And we've not won a uh, $50 chip today, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm excited to see what they're going to have in there tomorrow. Hopefully it's something real good. Uh, we might attempt to do like a limited quarter challenge or something like that again. Like maybe a uh, one quarter challenge or something. Five quarter challenge. Something, you know, real good like that. I know you all really enjoy seeing the uh, limited quarter games, so I try to make as many of those types of videos as possible. And uh, if you go back and look at all the one quarter challenges I've done in the past, they've got tons of views as of right now, like hundreds of thousands of views and stuff. I try not to do them every day because like, you know, number one, they are risky and they're a lot more difficult to get them to go than it may seem, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I don't want to take away from the thrill of the limited quarter games. If you see them every single day, it's not going to be a special occasion anymore. It's just like if we spend $100 million every single day, it's going to become, you know, stale after a while. It's not going to be as, you know, like, oh my gosh, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be as, like, thrilling to watch. Won't be as exciting, that's what I meant to say. I mean, either word works, really. Alright, so let's see. There's one ounce of gold left in there to win. Let's push that out of there. And we'll be set. Now, sometimes the last item that's in there will be real stubborn. And it'll... Might take forever to fall down. That's okay though. We'll eventually get it. Oh, it's going to go. That right there may end up getting it. I thought so. Oh yeah, there we go. We got that gold bar. So anyway, uh, we got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely amazing. This has been a terrific game today. Absolutely terrific. So we ended up winning a total of eight dice in total. We got uh, four gold dice and four white dice. So I'm going to call the staff back here, have them put all eight of them dice on the pusher, and using their quarters, we'll roll them down to that lower shelf. And whatever numbers are facing upwards, that's going to be our multipliers for this game right here. So let's call them back here, and we will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They uh, put all eight of them dice on the pressure, so let's get them in there to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all land on some marvelous numbers today. Alright, well we got a three and a one and a two and a four so far. The ones do not count at all. We got another two on that white dice. I'm mainly worried about the white dice today. Uh, well, I mean they did fairly well I guess. It's definitely not, like I said, it's definitely not going to be a billion dollar jackpot or nothing like that. but. Hey, if we can make our uh, $30 million back, then that's all I'm worried about. So anyway, or actually $30.1 because we had to pay the extra 100 grand. But anyhow, I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all this, and I'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a uh, $30.1 million buy-in. So we will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. You all are not going to believe how much money we ended up winning today from a $30 million buy-in. This is really, really good right here. I was honestly not expecting to win this much money right here. This is absolutely amazing. So we ended up winning $20,440,000. That was all the chips and the cash all put together. Today the white dice totaled up to five, so that put us up to $102,200,000 today from a $30,100,000 buy-in. So that means we profited $72,100,000 today. That is absolutely amazing, and that's, that's not the biggest win that we've ever gotten from one of these machines. I think the biggest profit we've gotten was like almost two billion profit or something. I don't know, it was a crazy amount like that. But uh, anyway, I'm not gonna complain about that. That is still a fantastic win in my book. So uh, anyway, um, we ended up winning, I think it was 222 ounces of gold today, which is a crazy amount of gold. And the uh, gold dice today totaled up to 8, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 8. And in total, that put us up to 1,776 ounces of gold today. And 
Yesterday I asked y'all what the spot price of gold was. A lot of y'all said it was like 2660 an ounce, which is crazy for the gold. It's, you know, up real high now in value. So anyway, that means we got roughly $4,724,160 in gold today. That is really, really good for the gold right there. And uh, last but not least, needless to say, we ended up winning, I think it was 1000 133 quarters so let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount that means we got 283 dollars and 25 cents in quarters so that's a decent win for the quarters there we trade those in for cash just in case you're wondering and i haven't seen the silver dice in there in a very long time the dice that multiply the quarters haven't seen those in there in a very long time hopefully they bring those back one day but uh anyhow that right there is not bad not bad at all for a uh, 30.1 million dollar buy-in so if y'all enjoyed today's video and you want to see videos like this every single day seven days a week uh, be sure you leave a like on the video hit that subscribe button turn on the bell icon that way you're up to date for future videos and if you want to check out yesterday's video that will appear at the bottom right of the screen if you want to subscribe that will appear at the top right if you want to check out the video over there on the second channel that will appear at the bottom left of the screen if you want to subscribe to the second channel that will appear at the top left of the screen. So with all that being said and stated, I'll see each and every one of you all on tomorrow's episode. You all take care and have a marvelous day, you all.